Hey guys, I'm gonna talk about how to make uh, masks uh, in Mari, which will help you to make better diffuse maps. Uh, so you go on Idea Mari Idea Scale site. You just need to Google Mari Idea Scale, and uh, you'll get Mari Extension Pack 2.1. Uh, it's for free. Uh, you just need to register, which is also free. So you can just go and download it from uh, download it from here, and then uh, then you will get your uh, you'll get your RAR file. You just need to open it, uh, copy uh, copy all these folders, uh, copy all these folders into your documents, Mari and script uh, script folder. Uh, make sure everything's the, uh, everything's the same. You don't change the name of the folders or anything. And once you're done with that, you can turn on Mari, and you uh, you'll get extra options in Mari, uh, which will help you to create masks. So here's my here's my old diffuse uh, diffuse map which I had made. And so I right click and import it on uh, my normal map. Uh, so here, here's my normal map. And so what do you need to do is uh, you go into your adjustments layer stack, go into custom, and then um, and then click on edge from normal map. Once you do that. Uh, it'll give you edge from normal map. Uh, it has too much intensity, so you just go into your adjustment stack and reduce the intensity a little bit. Uh, also, just the curvature, so you don't get it too much. So, uh, so you can see what's happening. It's, uh, it's taking all the whites from the edges and uh, edges, and all the cavity is also white. So this is how you can get your black and white mask uh, with with the extension. And then all you need to do is right click and merge merge layers and once you do that uh, your, mar your mask will be based uh, big, big on the layer so uh, this is how you can get a mask from your normal map uh, so what you need to do is uh, I'll make a copy of my diffuse uh, put an adjustment, uh, adjustment layer make it a bit darker or lighter it depends on what sort of look you're going for so uh, I'll just reduce the value make it more saturated I'll change you a little bit and uh, I'll go into my mass stack and And just delete this. And uh, so this is your normal mask. And drag it, drag it down. So you need to hold shift. Oh, hold, click on the layer, hold shift, and drag it into your mask, uh, mask stick. Once you do that, you just know what happens. So uh, now uh, there's all the white part is being uh, white part is being I mean the black part is being masked and the white part has all the darker color which we had on our uh, on our diffuse so this uh, so we can see what happens so that's without the mask and that's with the mask and you can get all these details
and then uh, you can just go in uh, take the brush which you like and uh, you can just paint on top of your uh, mask and you can just start painting darker regions and it is simple as the quickest way of getting on your mask really fast uh, I would I would reduce the intensity of the darkness because it looks too cartoony right now uh, I tend to keep it really subtle and now uh, other way of creating so we can create one more mask uh, which also comes with the extension pack and uh, it's it's in it's in geometry custom and uh, you have to go to polyface uh, poly surface curvature so once you do that uh, you get a similar sort of mask but uh, make sure that you have a decimated or a uh, High poly model in Mari, because this uh, this this uh, this mask detects the curvature of the edges of the uh, of the model. So here you can increase the intensity, high or low. It almost works same as the normal map, but all you need to do for this is bring in your high poly mesh instead of a low poly version because if you have less edges I won't detect those so if you have low poly mesh and then you can use the normal mask method if you have higher poly mesh then you can just use uh, poly surface curvature method so it's the same process you just right click merge on itself so it's baked onto your, baked onto your mesh so now you can see all those fine details which you can get with this mask. And these are two types of masks. Uh, there is also another mask which I use a lot. Uh, with the extension pack is Excess Mask. Uh, it's a great way to protect like dirt or dust on top of some objects so what this what this mask does is it projects white onto your object from axis so right now it's y-axis so it's projecting it from top and then if you go negative y it projects from down uh, then x negative x z z will be from front uh, this will be from back so this gives more directionality to say if you put dust or sand on top of it so you'll see the dust will collect on such stuff from top and if if it's a moving object maybe things will be uh, uh, all the dust and uh, dirt will be hitting from front so you can use this as a mask um, so what, uh, there is other thing where you can tweak fall off so it's not that wide it's just really subtle and you can get more grading and you can turn on two at a time so it depends on how you want how you want it to be so this mask uh, will help you to project uh, project sand or some sort of other color from top or any other direction you want you can invert it if you want and uh, this is a great mask so the uh, same thing you right click merge layer make access mask so this is another great mask which I use and then you can just drag all these masks down and you can connect it you can just put it in the layer stack so 
all you need to do is shift, click, and drag. And make sure you shut the layer. So now you see it's a bit darker from on the top side. Oh, I kept the intensity a bit low because uh, I just wanted a subtle color color change. So this is a uh, this is a great trick which you can uh, which you can use for texturing. Um, and then there are many other ways to break down your texture because. Um, uh, Mari is a great software which gives you procedural textures so you can go into geometry or procedural custom go into pattern and sometimes I kind of like using uh, squid skin and it'll, it'll put like this random organic looking uh, organic looking pattern on top of your object you can change the color and and now you see there's more breakup in your uh, in your object so what I do is I reduce the density and keep it really subtle you can also mask uh, mask this with other ma uh, other masks that we made and yeah so so go download uh, Mari extension pack, it's free and and you can do tons of stuff with it. Uh, there are many other features which you can explore in it, but these are the main three ones which I almost use in everything I do. So alright.